Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond. Oh, thanks to whoever did that. I'll check it in a second. Uh, I'm playing on the Smurf today. Um, annoyingly, the main account has been very frustrating for the last couple days. Uh, we played one game of it earlier today. Teammates being kind of genuinely bad. And then one of my teammates decided to genuinely int. He genuinely ran down mid lane, I think twice in a row, popping his ultimate and just running into the tower. And this is supposed to be like the highest tier of league and it, or one of, and it just did not good. Anyway, we're playing Swain. It, it thinks I'm top, but I'm actually mid. Um, we're playing Swain because we've already tested him in the support role. And we kind of was like, actually, it's pretty good. But the intent of the rework was to put him back in mid lane or potentially top. Uh, and I want, I want to see, you know, what does he feel like in mid? Not a support in mid. So we'll see. Uh, Katarina player got banned on my team. Um, but yeah, the Yasuo hasn't lost the game. So let's try to make it his first loss, shall we? Uh, Shadow Cat Zevo, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, give me Uno second and I will read your massage. Uh, morning, guys. Something happened that made me giggle yesterday. I was just playing Leona and dove into the back line during a team fight. Then Solo killed the enemy Teemo and Jinx. Bro, what the hell? <laughs> All done. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah. Do, 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 do. But by the way, oh, there you go. Thank you, uh, Kappa. Uh, before this game, by the way, just to kind of talk about a topic about how many games played um, on average and all this stuff. Ooh, ooh, give me a second. I'll, I'll continue talking about it momentarily. Nice. We really weird for him just to be there. Um, we were talking about how many games people play. And obviously a lot of content creators are doing the career challenge at the moment because it's kind of like the popular thing to do for the big tier streamers. Hey, sleepy girl. And we were working out averages. Oh, that's bad. Of how many games they were playing. And we've worked out two so far, the boss and Tyler one. So the boss was there for 30 days exactly playing solo queue. And uh, he averaged 15 games a day. A oh my god. Brilliant. So yeah, he averaged 15 games a day. And Tyler won. I don't know how many days he's been playing there. It's maybe about a week or so, so far. Oh, there you go. They got reconnected, got their connection back. Uh, he's averaging, someone just worked it out for me, 22.6 games a day at the moment. That is kind of mad. I know, like, they're mainly there to, like, that's what they're there to do. But... Oh. Yes, people have told me quite a lot already that Anivia's been picked in for MSI. People are like, how's the influence? I don't know about that. Like, dude, she is, like, secret OP, I'm telling you. I've been saying this for the whole literal season. I don't know, just people just don't take her seriously. I don't know why. Oh, really, real honest. So oh, that sucks. Um, so Ruronis just said downloaded Blood Hunt yesterday. Unfortunately, it was a bit too much for your laptop to handle. A really good game, Blood Hunt. Brand new free to play. Lovely. Brand new free to play um, Battle Royale game. Uh, really good. Really good. Oh. Sweet. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is donated by. We already did that one. Nice. Not nice. There's a double kill to a Lucian lane. What? Um, let me. I'll find out who this is donated by momentarily. Because remember, you can get champions donated. Uh, also, just to mention, um, we are opening up because I, I thought, why not? If you're a YouTube audience member and you feel like, I've always wanted to donate a pick, but I never go on Twitch and you've never had a way to donate for a champion for this series. There is now a way because again we have if you guys have noticed there's the thanks below videos now uh, and that basically is we can use that to do champion donations so if you want a champion donated pick in this series um i'm trying to work out how much would it be it would be 10 bucks i think yeah two it's two gifted subs on twitch so the equivalent is ten dollars so ten dollars in a thanks comment um a super chat comment whatever they call them and just include what champion you want and boom it's in you you can get a donated pick part of this series now you know just on youtube you don't have to come on twitch so pretty cool um 
Still trying to find. There it is. This is uh, donated by uh, Mazingnal Sherry. I probably butchered that name, but that is who this is donated by. So thank you very much for the don't know. There are some champions it is worth knowing that maybe I should mention are more expensive. Basically, if a champion, uh, you know that a Huzzy does not like that champion, it won't be 10 bucks. It'll be a bit more. <laughs> um, but yeah. They expect me I'm running Conqueror. We aren't even playing because I think a big part of the strength of this new Swain is that basically he just doesn't die. Solo killing Yasso is pretty nice. Honestly, he doesn't feel bad. Hey, Pink Bridge. Um, runes, though. Hang on. I can go through them in a second. Runes we're running. Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Tenacity, Last Stand, Conditioning in Tanky, Revitalize, and then I'm running Attack Speed, AP, uh, and then Armor. You can go phase rush, but I kind of want to... They, they work together, work together, work together, work together, work together, work together. Dude, Brand, stop being a wimp. My god, man. Oh, jeez. Kill the Amuma, man. There we go. Oi, oi, oi. Please don't give him any kills. I've worked hard to beat him in lane. No, he's going to get fed. Oh, no. I felt I... That's frustrating. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Wait, he ignited? Yes, I get to kill him here. I'll do. I think uh, the thing he just gave it away a bit, the Lucian. Because he should have just ran that way, and I'm pretty sure Yasuo would have just walked back to lane, like normally. You're not going that way, buddy. Oh, Brand. I haven't really checked two Smurfs in this game, by the way. In the nicest way possible, the Brand is definitely not a Smurf. What? As long as I ulti, in theory, before he hits his ult, oh, he wasn't going to ult then. If I, like, when when it comes down to it, if I literally ult before he lands his, he's screwed. In my head. This is broken. <laughs> what? That's not okay, man. What? Hello? You know when Riot do things? Do they test them? I just stood there like a lemon, man. What's up? I'm Drainy Boy. I'm Drainy Boy McGee. Nice to meet you. To redraw the map, the Everyone in chat, okay, I start playing Swain now. What the hell was that? What? That was nuts, by the way. I'm sorry. What was that? Like, that's ridiculous. That's like, that's actually ludicrous. I've got two control wards, so I don't know why I've got two control wards. Oh, headbutt. All right, let's have a little look, because this brand is worrying me. This brand... This brand was Platinum 1 last season. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. I'm sorry. What? Everybody else on my team are Smurfs. 
these four, apart from Brand, oh, well, four, four of us, including me, are Smurfs. Brand is not a Smurf, clearly, and it, he was Platinum 1 last season. That is not right. I mean, we don't really need to dive him, do we? Oh, close. Oh. Oh, that wind wall was good. I'm trying to tank the tower away. I don't know what he's trying to do, man. Oh, he's got all... This Viego doesn't seem great either, to be honest. He doesn't really know what's going on. Hmm. 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 Akali's doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, on the enemy team, well, I haven't looked at the enemy team. Um, Fiora, not a smurf. Amumu, not a smurf. Yasuo, not a smurf. Ezra, not a smurf. Pike, probably not. I don't think they've got a single smurf, where on my team, it's technically four. But obviously, as we've always said, there are very much different levels of smurfing. Like, this Viego is technically a smurf, but could be a gold smurf. So, you know... For some reason, whenever you say Smurf to the like the League community, they're thinking like, oh, crazy high rating player. Not necessarily. Majority of Smurfs are probably actually not high rating players. Just by law of averages. Honestly, I mainly want... Oh, it's a pikey ult. I tried to dodge that and it didn't dodge. Oof. Brand's got ult, man. Ult, ult. Oh my... Dude, this brand has no idea what's going on. Like, literally none. What does this guy normally play? He went 1 and 16 in his last game. He went 0 5 the game before. This is not a platinum player's account if you ca if you catch my drift. One can read the future in battle. He went 0 3 30 days ago, 0 3. Yeah, he has no idea what's going on. 0 10, 0 9, 2 and 16. I mean, there's not one game that he did well. Yeah, that's not that guy's account, clearly. Decisions have consequences. This I'm... Will I be trying new to Leia? I'm sure I will. Oh, he eat it. Damn. <sighs> Quite impressive in Akali's beating a Fiora. But as as we've said multiple times, it's Smurfs versus non-Smurfs this game. My Q isn't a projectile, so it can go through wind wall, by the way. Any ability that's connected to the person as you're casting it, like my... Damn, there's a lot of people always mid. There'd be a lot of people always in mid lane. But again, we're dealing with the pressure well. We're still very fed. It's just, I'm dying, which I don't want to be. Oh. Let me spawn. I might leave it Seekers there, by the way, and I might buy a Riley next. I might ignore that. And buy that next. 
Because I think new Riley is completely busted on Swain now. Because again, if you keep people within you, you keep the suck. You keep you keep the big suck. I'm just getting him away from the plant. Nice. Why are you mid? Where? Hey, W kill. <laughs> Let's go. I've not tried new Olaf. No, maybe today. We'll see. I'm already feeling a lot more relaxed on this account than I was the main. That was so close to be another triple kill. Damn it. Close. I could just buy a Zonyas there, but I'm not going to. Uh, I can check if it's donated. I'm presuming it is. Oh, wait, new Olaf is tomorrow? Oh, is it tomorrow? Well, we can't do it today then. Yeah, patch is today. I'll be doing patch notes later today to be today's second video. Patch technically comes out tomorrow. But I am, I am getting into kind of like a bulk recording phase because of stuff going on and health appointments and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we are going to start like really bulk recording as much as we can. You haven't missed Nocturne? No, I don't think we played a Nocturne. We might be able to do that today. I might play a Viego game today because that champion is ridiculously stupid, but I've not played it myself in ages. Hey, Ned Leo. I think Fiora will fight me. Probably not, right? Well, she might actually try because she doesn't know how strong I am. Hey, Ned Leo. I might have said that twice. I don't remember. Maybe. All right, will you fight me? Fight me. She is definitely not fighting me. Dude, wait on the dragon. We don't need to do it right now. I could kill them all. Like, why risk it? Don't This brand has no idea what he's doing. He's doing dragon when our jungler's dead and there's still is alive with smite. Like, bro. Just complete clueless. Take it. This brand is, uh... Interesting. Thankfully, Amumi must not have had smite in that situation, by the way. And what I also will just add, again, I don't want to be overly harsh to people while we're doing a smurf account, but if that account literally on it, platinum one last season... You can definitely tell that is not a Platinum 1 player like, at all. Like, that is clearly not that guy's account. Clearly. He's played... He's lost every single solo queue game he's played. Every single one. He's played two Mord games, two losses. Two Rise games, two losses. One Yone game, loss. One Shivana game, loss. One Blitzcrank, loss. Two Mord games averages zero kills, three deaths. Two Rise games averages zero kills, 7.5 deaths. One Yone game went 0 10. One Shivana game went 0 5. One Blitzcrank game went 1 and 11. He's got one kill in his whole ranked season. This is his second kill. So I will be a little bit harsh to somebody like him because clearly that's not his account. Your team has destroyed well, it's either his account that he's bought, got it boosted, or something. Because clearly, that not be his. An enemy has been slain. Killing spree. Get me in the fight.
You never know, he might be one of those players that like there there is a market out there for, for purposely inting games to get a council low rating to then sell it to more scumbag like Lee content creators. That's a thing unfortunately. <laughs> I get him? No. Oh. Kind of limit testing. Can I be in the middle of four people? The answer is not right now. But I also did get ignited. That hurt my healing. Akali's oh, doing the same thing. Um, if I couldn't do it, Akali, I don't think you can. Uh, so, yeah. This game's gone well. So, our two games are swaying. We've got incredibly fed. I will say I've always liked Swain. I've really liked his rework. I know some people do exist that are like, dude, I prefer pre-rework uh, Swain. Not this mini rework to put him more in a solo lane. Old Swain. I don't think that's better than this version. I, th I think this version of Swain is a lot better. Okay, question of the day. This could be an inter interesting question. Two answers from both of you. What do you believe is the best rework that Riot's done? Like successful and the whole yeah, that's great. And which do you think is actually pretty terrible? Cuz I actually with that auto attack. I actually don't think there's terrible reworks. I'm pretty sure I like well, Akali maybe. But I like I think all the reworks are better than their old versions. I think Gangplank is one of the best. Penta? No. I didn't even have to be involved. Cat and Akali are the worst. Yeah. Potentially would agree with that. But they're like, again, they're bad reworks because they're just broken. They could be balanced if Riot cared. I like Aatrox rework. Again, I am I'm know people are going to get upset by this. Old Aatrox was literally just Trindamir V2. Like, it just, it's just kind of boring. I played old Aatrox and it was boring. Like, there was no individual identity to him. He's got more individual identity of current Aatrox than old Aatrox. A hundred percent. Well, this was a little bit of a stomp. Very fun, though. And yeah, clearly shows the strength of Swain. Like, we got a very, very, very early triple kill, which not many champions in League can basically get a 3v1 early triple kill. Not many. Swain did. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Hmm. People forget, by the way, about the Poppy rework. I actually, I genuinely think it's probably one of the most forgotten reworks there was. People don't, like, if, if you're new to the game, you won't know it. Poppy had a very weird ulti, but it was actually kind of interesting. Also, I forgot. I need to swap around that to that. There you go. Poppy's old ultimate was, obviously, nowadays, she swings a hammer and, uh, you know... Bonk, bonk, bonk somebody into oblivion away. Her old ulti. So what's happening here? Report Lucian super toxic. Ah. Uh, the basically everyone's calling the brand really bad. I mean, it, it's definitely not his account. Like clearly. Anyway, went ten four eight hundred fifty seven plus twenty seven and damage wise doing the most damage in the game. But yeah, Poppy's old ultimate is you selected a target in range. And that is the only opponent that could do damage to you while the ultimate was active. Like, literally, for a 10-second, let's say, period, if you go and, like, the AD carry, I'm selecting them, you, I think, did more damage to them. 
and nobody else could do damage to you as Poppy. Only that person that you selected can do damage to you. It was a really interesting ulti. It was like, it was kind of like a duelist ulti. It was like, boom. So kind of interesting. But um, yeah, that was Poppy's old ulti. But anyway, um, really good game of Swain. Does show that obviously, yes, he can still mid um, very well. You know, not many champions can literally 3v1 um, in the early game. And we did. So that was good. If you guys did enjoy, though, please do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning.